Today I'll show you one of the games where I destroyed a 2000 or rated player on Lee Chess. Now I was playing here as white and I started off with d4, opponent goes d5, bishop to g5, making sure that the opponent cannot play e6 straight away, which is a common development move from the opponent as well. So opponent pushes for h6, which is passive. I went with bishop to h4, opponent continues to chase the bishop, now plays g5, and I get back the bishop onto g3. Now what I have done in this process is opened up the king side. So the diagonal towards the king would be weak. Even this diagonal is weak. So opponent will, it will be very tough for opponent to castle. Actually, it will be very bad for the opponent if now the opponent decides to castle on the uh, king side. So opponent uh, still continues development on the king side. Uh, bishop to g7. I went with h4 straight away asking opponent to either take or I will take it. Opponent uh, plays knight to c6, asking me to take and a double attacking the central pawn. I took the pawn, opponent takes back. I take back with the rook, opponent takes uh, back with the bishop. And now since the rooks are exchanged and my pawn is not defended, I need to defend it. So here comes e3, opponent plays a bishop to f5, uh, eyeing this diagonal. Trying to develop the bishop, then maybe playing e6, putting the queen out and castle. Queen on maybe a d7, I cannot put on a d6 because I'm already eyeing that with the bishop. So here I went with a bishop to b5. I want to spoil the open pawn structure. And once this knight goes and the pawn structure is gone, open is not going to castle in this game. And I will be happy with that position. Open plays a6, trying to push my bishop back, but I had the intentions clear that I want to take the knight, and I took, took it out. Open takes back the pawn. Now I play c3, trying to make sure that my queen is uh, going to be active on a4 eventually. Uh, knight to f6, my opponent. I go with knight to f3. Uh, now open pushes for the pawn g4, which allows me to go to the central square, knight to e5. A very good controlling square, attacking a pawn as well. Now opponent goes with a knight to e4, attacking my bishop, but I'm okay. I don't want to castle anyway on the uh, king side, so let that be. I'll take a free pawn first, which also attacks the queen, so now opponent has to save the queen first. Queen comes to d7, I come back with the knight, attacking the queen, and now since opponent is pawned down, doesn't want to trade for the bishop, and then I also get a centralized bishop. So opponent goes with a queen to e6, now comes queen a4. a4. Um, with a check as was planned open side steps with the uh, king and now comes queen to c6 asking for a queen trade because that will be beneficial for me opponent continues uh, and thinks that uh, the opponent can improve the position of the rook also the rook was attacked so rook had to be saved and now rook is attacking my uh, b2 pawn as well but i don't care i took on the queen open takes back with the pawn, which is a blunder, because now here comes a fork, which allows me to take the rook in the next move, which opponent resigns immediately after this fork, because the opponent was going a rook down straight away, apart from being a pawn down, and this very bad position. So it was a 19 move game, uh, ended up very quickly. Uh, and yes, it was against a 2000 odd rated player on Lee Chess. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.